All right, ma'am, if you wouldn't mind, um, welcome to the UGI Emporium. So, what we're going to do is these five images. We're going to do an AP, an LPO, a right lateral, an RAO, and then finally, last but not least, a PA. So are you ready? Ready. All right, ma'am, if you wouldn't mind, climb over onto my x-ray table. Very good. All right, just lay back and relax. Would you care for a blanket? I'm good, thanks. Would you like a warm blanket? All right. I can either... Whose marker is this? Is that yours? No one's. Ah. Your marker, sir. Oh, thank you. I won't lose that. Oops. And again, I guess I probably should have kept it. Okay, you can use either a 10 by 12 or a 14 by 17. Either way, you're going to come down to about a 10 by 12 area because the human stomach really isn't all that big. I mean, if you look at me and you think, hey, that guy's got a big stomach. Well, kind of, but my stomach, the, my actual anatomic stomach is not that big. It's just a relatively small portion. Thank goodness, or else this county would be out of food. All right. So here's what let's do. We're going to put this tube in detent. Very good. I'm going to cone this guy down. I don't need my 17 by 7 anymore. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cone down to about 12, 10-ish. All right, there we go. All right, now where is this patient's stomach? Well, I don't know. But I've got a feeling that it's somewhere between the lower margin of the ribs and the xiphoid process. All right, ma'am, would you point to your xiphoid process for me? Okay, very good. Okay, so lower rib margin right here. Xiphoid process right there. I'm going to go about halfway in between those, and I'm going to make sure that I have light just barely on the patient's lateral margin, and then the other edge of my light field is going to be just to the right of her vertebral column. That should guarantee me getting her stomach on this image, right? And so I don't have a marker. Yes, I do. Okay, so I'm going to put my marker in the light field right over here so it's out of the way of the anatomy. Okay, ma'am, if you wouldn't mind taking a breath, blow it out, hold it out, and hold still. Beep! All right, perfect. I got her stomach right on there. Okay, now then, we need to do an LPO. So for my LPO, what I'm going to ask you to do is roll towards your left side just a little bit uh, at about a 45 degree angle. There we go. Okay, perfect. Now then, what I'm going to do is, once again, I'm going to be palpating for the xiphoid and the lower costal margin, and going halfway in between. All right, and this time, I'm just going to make sure that my light field is at the lateral margin, laterally, and then medially, I'm going to be um, right around the mid-sagittal plane. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, I want to make sure my patient's arms are out of the way. Very good. I got a left marker down there because this is an LPO. And, oh gosh, I about forgot something important. Here you go, ma'am. Got a little shield for you there. All right, fantabulous. Okay, ma'am, once again, take in a breath, blow it out, hold it out, and hold still. Beep. Okay, perfect. All right, now for my next trick. Okay, ma'am, I need you to turn back, roll back over on your back. Okay, and keep rolling because I need you to roll up on your right side. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, I guess we could do our right anterior oblique first, but we're going to go ahead and do this one first. Okay, so, once again, getting my patient to get their arms up out of the way. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. I want you to be indecently exposed. 
There we go. Okay, so lower rib margin, which is right down here. All right, my patient's moved out of position on me a little bit, but it's all right. Okay, so once again, halfway between, and I think the book says two inches above the lower rib margin, which is fine too. And then I'm also going to be about two inches anterior to the mid coronal plane. There we go. Okay, that should put her stomach right in the middle of the film. All right, what do you think? Good? Excellent. Okay, now this is the one image that we're going to mark low. See, for everything else we've been marking high, this time we're going to mark low. And I'm going to take a right marker that I have somewhere. My right marker, <laughs> thank you very much. That'll learn me to not bring my markers to class. Okay, so I'm going to mark this down low, right anterior. Remember, everything else we marked high, either left or right, but we marked towards the top of the film. This we're marking low, towards the bottom of the film. All right, what do you think? Are we right in front of the mid-coronal plane? Looks like it. And we're right between the lower costal margin and the xiphoid, or you know, two inches above the lower costal margin. So that centering looks good. I'm going to get my patient's arms out of the way. Okay, ma'am, if you would, just take in a breath, blow it out. Hold it out and hold still. Beep. Okay, you can relax. Now, the reason we do these on, on expiration is that in theory, on expiration, there should be less compression of the abdominal contents. I don't know if it really makes that much difference or not, but we're just going to go with that. Sound good? Mm -hmm. All right, cool deal. Okay, now then, RAO, right anterior oblique. Okay, ma'am, if you would, roll back a little bit. I'm sorry, keep rolling. <laughs> My bad. I was about to put her in a totally different position. Okay, RAO. We've seen this before. We had an RAO drinking just a little while ago. This is going to be similar but different. Oops. Okay. All right. Arm out of the way, right there. Okay, now, what am I going to do? Again, we're halfway between the lower cost, the, the costal margin and the xiphoid, okay? And then side to side, we're going to be halfway between the lateral border of the patient's body and the mid-sagittal plane, right about there. Okay, right marker. Let's see, this is the patient's left side. That's the patient's right side. I guess I better go with my left marker. Sorry, ma'am. Pardon me, I'm trying to find the left marker. There it is. <laughs> Sorry about all this. It's okay. <laughs> okay, left marker is going to go about right here. There we go. All right, very good. All right, I like it. I'm satisfied with that positioning. Okay, ma'am, just relax. Take in a breath. Blow it out, hold it out, and hold still. Beep. Okay, you can relax and breathe normally. All right, last but not least, PA. Some doctors want a PA image. PA image of the stomach actually looks really good. All right, so once again, we're going to find the patient's lower rib margin. Go about two inches above that. And then we're going to aim, there we go. Okay, this time I'm going to use my left marker. I'm going to put my left marker right there. Okay, very good. So, all right, patient, if you wouldn't mind, hold still. Take in a breath, blow it out, hold it out, hold still. Beep. All right, you can relax. Okay, now we have done all five images. These are for post pictures for an upper GI series. So what we're doing is we're just seeing how much barium is in the patient's stomach. And as the patient's rolling around into these different positions, some images are gonna show the fundus. Some are gonna have um, contrast in the um, body of the stomach. 
Some are going to have contrast in the pyloric portion. That's why we keep rolling the patient over and over again to, to try to see different aspects of the stomach and different surfaces of the stomach. And you may not need to do all these images. Maybe the doctor just needs one or two of these. Um, but be ready for any of these things um, because you just never know what the physician's going to order. All right. Well, thank you very much for your kind attention. As always. All right, Miss Sarah, cut. <laughs>